hey, this is Theodore Crane. You might know me as Big Tiny from AMC's The Walking Dead. And this is the Down the Road Show. Thanks for checking in with Down the Road Show. I am here with Theotis Crane. <laughs> you may recognize him from Walking Dead. We loved him in Walking Dead and he was killed off way too fast, which is so typical of Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> we could go there. This is my show. We could go there. Let's, fair enough, fair let, enough. Let's pull the race card bullshit. Well, if we're doing that, <laughs> I'm drinking my Mountain Dew. Yeah, drink your Mountain Dew. Man. You were such a lovable, cool character. And just like, with everything that was going on right there in The Walking Dead, and they just found the prison, and like... Here's the thing, more than anything... Those little shady sons of bitches, and you were the stand-up guy. I feel like that was why I died. It, like, beyond the race thing, because I mean, they were the trend, but it, it they broke it uh, at some point. But I feel like, more than anything, it was um, nice guys finish last. You know? that That's the moral of the story. So, Jesus Christ, Batman. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so <laughs> I feel like um, it's true though. Yeah, nice guys finish last. Yeah, he's, he's the one that's trying to like resolve conflict and hey, we can all get together. Well, we just leave, you know, screw it, we just go. And um, and in in a world where in a world <laughs> where um, <laughs> welcome to movie film, right? <laughs> and it's in a in a situation where. You know, the survival of the fittest, you know, and the fittest being flesh-eating zombies, you kind of can't be the nice guy. Like, right. you, you can't make those, and that's the progression of the TV show as well. Because, uh, you know, Rick Grimes Rick's starts out. Some stuff. Yeah, he starts out like, oh my God, yeah, we take on everybody, we blah, 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 with the family, and next thing you know, is like, screw that dude. Oh, he's on the side of the road, F him. So, <laughs> you know, and, and that's, I think there's, that's a theme within the plot of the story. Right. That uh, as it progresses, and it's just one of those things that drives it further in home. Like, if you want to be a nice guy, well, you just go ahead and do that and see what happens to you. Right. You know, but. Leave some of that good hearted human nature. Yeah. Back at home. That's why Dale died. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I was so glad when Dale died. I was so glad. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, man. <laughs> like, Dale and Andrea, I was like, oh, thank God. I was like, quit arguing. Like, you know, when Dale died, I was like, quit being a pussy. <laughs> Humanity is zombies. It's no human. Zombies, you know, anyway. So, <laughs> I. I, I have a vested interest in the you show. Know I'm glad you said that is because, like, look, every actor I've met that's been on The Walking Dead, they're very opinionated about not just the show in general, where it's going, but their character and their character development. I mean, I it's actually a don't personal feel, thing. I don't feel that strongly about my character. I feel that my character served a purpose. Right. Uh, but that's that's you to know help progress the story. Yeah, they didn't. My character was not. It was not to be developed. I mean, could have been. It could have been. Could have been. But it wasn't a progressive story. It wasn't, you know, I mean, it wasn't to uh, develop the character. It wasn't to, you know, people liked him off the bat. I, I think that was the point. I think that was why they casted me. You know, I, I spent my life learning to be personable. Right. I got let down. So He's good at it. <laughs> but um, I'm having a great time with this guy this weekend. Makes good Mountain Dew. I do. But um, <laughs> but yeah. So um, you know, it's one of those things. that's like. There's a there's this moment um, I forget which episode it is but there's a hitchhiker. Right. It's uh, Rick Michonne and it's like and three Carl. episodes before the end of the last season. Yeah. yeah. And they see him and it's like, can I have some kettle corn? Thank you. But there's this, uh, I don't remember that line in the movie, Rick. So there's a hitchhiker and Rick is like, hey, I need some kettle corn up with this. Some kettle hey, corn. Can we get some kettle corn, please? I think if they had the technology in the zombie apocalypse, there'd be so kettle corn all over the place. Oh my god, candy yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Like, oh, you're hungry? Here, zombie, have some kettle corn and cotton candy. Like, I think that yeah. would fix all the zombie apocalypse. You know problems. what in the zombie apocalypse? If, if like a zombie contaminated a kettle corn machine, <laughs> I think T Dog would go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> It will be like when Lori died and Rick went and cleared the prison by himself. T Dog, cotton candy is all over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has nothing but the paper cones and just wrecking shop. 
<laughs> oh wow, spin off. <laughs> so uh, you got anything coming up? Yep. Uh, project wise you want to talk about? Um, so I know you've been working on a few cool things. I've been noticing me and Nick Gomez, the guy who killed me, the guy who killed me. Uh, <laughs> right all right. <laughs> don't, mind, don't mind the person off camera. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> but um, we, we've got three things that are either out or coming out. So The Walking Dead, he kills me. Right. Um, th we did a pilot in 2011 called Wild Card. Okay. They made it, and it, they took it from being a, a, a 30 minute pilot episodic to a two hour uh, original movie. Yeah. That's a hell of a big pilot to have that much footage to turn it into that. Well, they all, like every TV show has about that much footage. So. Wow. But yeah, so they made it, a, so Wild Card on USA, um, he's Armando, the pool guy. Ooh. The pool guy. The pool guy. <laughs> and I play a Samoan football player. <laughs> Go figure. You're so but, <laughs> but I could pull it off, you know. I gotta save more, but yeah. Um, and then the Starving Games comes out uh, late October, early November. And uh, I won't give away that one because that's going to be funny. But uh, we're both in that as well. Oh, a comedy then. Yeah, it's the spoof of the Hunger Games. Yeah. Perfect. And so uh, in December, I got Christmas in Conway, uh, Andy Garcia, Mandy Moore, Sherry O'Terry from Saturday Night Live. I love her. She's hilarious. Riley Scott uh, Smith, Riley Smith, and uh, and me. And uh, and uh, all right. And that's going to be in December, ABC Family. It's a Hallmark movie. In June, Motel comes out. That's um, Robert De Niro, John Cusack, Rebecca DaCosta, Rebecca DaCosta, Crispin Glover, uh, a whole bunch of people. Awesome. Um, and I get shot by John Cusack. And then we're, looking, we're working on funding for um, Pissed Off Clown and uh, Lights Out. Those two things I'm going to post on my Twitter, Facebook, at Theodos Crane, T-H-E-O-D-U-S-C-R-A-N-E, -E on Twitter. Uh, official Theodos Crane on Facebook, theodoscrane.com. Which will um, link to the Twitter and the Facebook, I assume. Yep. And um, on Instagram, just for fun, the house that fun built. Make sure you follow him on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and his official website where you can see where he's going to be next. And we already know where he's going to be next. He's going to be... <laughs> you just finished that now. <laughs> Mountain Dew, he's going to be <laughs> flying on that caffeine. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> but next month, catch him at the next WTF events in Tempe, Arizona for Rapture Horror Con. That should be a good time. You, what are you looking forward to there? Gird your loins. Gird your loins. Get it ready. Anyway, um, this is my first time in Arizona, so oh, I want to see a cactus. And then I want to see some parties. Oh, there will be some parties. Arizona knows how to party. I think guarantees. Guarantees? It's guaranteed right here. I'll be there. I'll make sure we have a good time. And if I don't have a party, I'm going to start a room party. You got my word. Bottles and bottles of Mountain Dew and whatever else. Uh, I'll raise the roof to that because yeah, that's yeah. how freaking lame I am. <laughs> Thanks for checking in with Down the Road Show. 1993. The Otis <laughs> <laughs> I went all the way back to Arsenio. Hey, he's coming back on TV. I can be raising the roof. Have you noticed that Arsenio Hall looks like a reincarnation of the devil? Cause he's got like his hairline's receding, and it's like the points right there. Oh he's God. got that long face, that and long jaw, and then he's got that look on his face, like I'm back, motherfuckers. Can I say that? Yeah, you, okay. I show you say whatever the fuck you want. Awesome. He's like I'm back, mother. And it looks like like he made a deal with somebody. Like like he's Tim Curry in Legend playing Darkness. No, you know it's actually scary. Ricky Lake is back on TV. <laughs> yeah, we went there. Hi, Ricky. Come be on what? our show. What? What? That's like Phil Donahue coming back. <laughs> oh, no. I wouldn't be surprised. Just don't insult Oprah or Katie. We like you them. You know what? I don't know anything about Katie. Oprah's my girl. Opening doors, busting them down. Her and Will Smith, man. Her and Will Smith. Wow. Moment of silence. Anyway. Speaking of Jada Pinkett Smith, <laughs> speaking of hot, keep <laughs> she's got a death metal band. I knew that. I knew that. I just found that out this weekend. I mean, Will Smith was a fucking rapper. Oh, yeah, I guess it makes sense then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you Rap, seen? Rap, death metal. I, I whip my hair back and forth. 
Where do you uh-huh. think that comes from? Oh, uh uh-uh. uh. I know it is. Th- their daughter, Willow Smith? Uh-huh. I went by hand make that was that's was, they made that. I didn't know that. Their son ruined the karate kid. We're getting all kinds of entertainment political. <laughs> <laughs> I you know what? Okay. I'm gonna I have to pee really bad. So let's look, do it. No wait, what? This is what down the road shows for. Let's talk about it. Not Oh uh, not let's find a broom closet. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> but no. If you're gonna have the Karate Kid, why the fuck are you doing Kung Fu? And what does Jackie Chan have to do with it? Chuck Norris, I get it. Jackie Chan, why? Why, Jaden? Bad choices. Anyway, I got a PCL in. Thanks for checking in with Down the Road Show. Thanks, Keep Peter. that mic on. I mean- <laughs>